hello you guys welcome back to the channel so today I just wanted to tell you a little story um, about me helping my 18 year old niece build a budget because she wants to buy a car um, and she wants to buy it as soon as possible so she asked me if I would help her sit down and do a budget and I just want to talk to you about some things that I noticed because just because she's 18 is kind of irrelevant in this story because the other people that I've helped with their budgets it's almost the exact same story so this doesn't have anything to do with age I think it has everything to do with fear so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today about the importance and the freedom of actually sitting down and knowing what your numbers are so if that sounds interesting to you then stick around Okay, so my 18 year old niece um, asked me to help her uh, sit down, you know, and do a budget. And so the first thing I asked her was, how much do you make, right? And she goes, well, I don't really make that much. And I said, well, how much is not that much? And by the way, I did get permission from her to talk about this story. So just in case anybody was worried, she did say, yeah, absolutely, go ahead. If it helps somebody, do it, you know, so. Okay, so she said, I don't really make that much. And I said, well, I said, we need to know how much that is. No matter, you know, whether it's big or small, right? We just need to know. So she tells me she uh, makes about, well, she didn't tell me this. So we had to figure it out as far as her checks, we got on her bank app, all this stuff. Um, she also didn't realize, mind you, she's a server. So she makes tips every day, which some of them are in cash, but most of them are, you know, she gets on a separate check. So she was thinking that she didn't make that much in cash. And she, you know, she showed me what she had in her, in her wallet, which was from the last three days. And she goes, there's probably 15, $20 in there. And she handed it to me to count it. And it was $50. And I was like, I don't know about you, but $50 is $50 to me, right? And she said, I had no idea it was that much. Which is most people. They have no idea how much they actually bring home. They think that it's maybe bigger or smaller than it actually is. Knowing the number is a huge deal. Okay, so we figured out how much money she made, right? And we also figured out that she would be able to, because she's purchasing this car for $2,000. And she has $600 that she had already been saving. And she said that she's been saving $400. She saved $400 in one month. And then at the end of the previous month, she had saved $200. When we sat down and did, you know, all of her bills, which mind you, she still lives at home, but she does pay rent. Um, so she has that, she has gas, insurance, you know. And so we figured out how much that was. We deducted that from what she brings home once we figured out that. And we figured out that over the next month, she could meet that goal of her $2,000 for that car, right? And she was floored. She was thinking that saving $400 a month was a huge deal until we sat down and actually did the numbers. And you guys, that's what I'm telling you. When you sit down and do those numbers, it blows your mind a lot of times. What the actual numbers are, not what you think they are and not what you hope they are, but what they really are. Cause that's where your power is, right? is knowing the facts. Facts are your friends, for sure, okay? And so she thought that she wasn't making very much because everybody was telling her that she needs to get a different job because she can't just be a server forever and all of this stuff. And so it was getting in her mind, right? And she was like, oh, I don't really make that much. I'm just a server. I only make, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's insane, the amount of people who have that very same thought of give you a few examples 
uh, well, being a janitor, I don't really make that much. Being a server, I don't really make that much. We're not that busy. I don't make that much money. Working for the school district, I don't make that much money. You guys, the actual amount you make is important to know, but it really is irrelevant because the biggest number to know is the margin number. The, the number that you come up with after all of your bills are taken care of. So yeah, that's the biggest, biggest number to know is what that margin is. Because that margin, the bigger it is, the more you can do something with it. And that is amazing, right? The more we can do with that, um, the farther along in our goals we'll get, our future freedom, right? A lot of us are working towards a freedom number, whether that's paying off our house, whether that is, you know, retiring, uh, getting out of debt, whatever, right? Um, those numbers are so important to know because that is what is going to determine what our game plan is. You know, you don't go into something without a plan. Like, winners of some sort of sports game never say, oh, it just kind of happened. No. They tell you all the things that they've been doing up until that point. All of the training sessions, how they're eating, blah, blah, blah. We should be doing that same thing, you know, considering that our entire life, as far as our livelihood and how well we're able to move around in life is determined by that margin number and by the plan that we have set in place, right? So I just wanted to go over that. Um, this was so amazing because her mind was blown. And I was thinking, it's so interesting because even though she's 18, I've sat down with people in their 50s and 60s that have the same exact thought process. And I just think that once we know, we know the facts, we can deal with the facts. It doesn't matter how terrible it's going to sound, how terrible, how scary it is. We have to know the facts so that we can make a game plan, right? Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And let me know if there's people in your life that you help in this way. And I would love to know how you go about helping them, you know, what your strategy is, and all of that. Okay, I will talk to you in the next one. All right, bye.